Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had, uh, just taken care of Caleb McCaffrey, so now we're gonna talk to Francine. Welcome about back. About getting the money. What can I get you? For taking him out. Yes! Where's his hat? Right here. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. Mm -hmm. I need to find a place on the wall for this. <laughs> And for your reward, here's 150 caps. Hey. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. Would you? You can have the corner room, rent free. Ooh. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. Cool beans. Now it makes up for the uh, caps. Now I can basically Bye. go there to sleep anytime I want. Hey. Freeside reputation is good now. Cool beans. Hey, chum. Welcome back. Hey, buddy. So, yeah, I have everything talk to, to later. talk to. I don't have anything to talk to him about. I thought I did. Hmm. Oh. Oh, Adrian. Hey. Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Whoa, why the hostility? Come on, stay in character. You're supposed to be heckling uh, me. Why bother? You're embarrassing yourself enough as it is. Hey, not bad. Your timing's terrible and you got no style. But you might make it as a professional heckler. <laughs> That's not why I'm here. What? You mean you're not part of the no. act? Huh, sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. So you perform stand-up comedy, huh? Eesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Judging from the economic state of Freeside, they can't be paying you that much. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Well, I could probably help you with that, maybe. Who, who are you exactly? Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. Not yet. Anyway. Yeah, go on. Scram. All right, then. <laughs> Rude. This is... Oh. So he's not in a suit How's anymore. How's it going? Okay, then. <laughs> That's a thing, then. So open the door to Freeside. And let's see. There's other things I needed to do. Needed to get a cowboy and ghoul type escort for uh, the other twin. So I think we'll do that. And I know where that is. Why are you over there? I don't think you should have been over there. The Atomic Wrangler. Okay. That was a thing. So we'll go to the uh, old Mormon fort in Outer Freet Side. Free Side. Freet Side? Is that what it said? Really? My brain is just collapsing in on itself. <laughs> just bleh. The Vipers and Jackals gangs have become little more than opportunistic petty raiders. Thanks to the NCR. Well, at least they're not keeping the... Uh, Surrounding area in a chokehold, so there's that at least. But the Raiders aren't that great either. And Old Mormon Fort, where the followers of the apocalypse. There we go. Followers of the apocalypse. I knew it was something of the apocalypse, but I was like, the F part was like not going in my brain. She looks like. Or yeah, she looks like she would How's it going? match that. Howdy. So, who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire. But it's getting rather dull. Mm -hmm. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked, who I could chat up about liquor, got transferred. And the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. So, I bet you've seen a lot over the years. 
I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially excited to explore. Sounds like you're a bit of a dom, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? Interested in working for the Garrets? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? This would be as an escort. Ah, uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. You're not getting what I'm putting down. I mean prostitute, hun. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Turns out there are customers looking for someone just like you. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. Hmm. There's a couple ways I can go with this. You'd be an independent with a deep discount on the booze, maybe? One of the employee perks is a discount. Now you're talking. I suppose I could sleaze it up a bit for their customers if it means I have a non-stop supply of drinks. Yeah, that'd work for me. Tell the Garrets I'm in. I'll make my way there shortly. Cool beans. I'll let them know. Bye. Later, Beatrix. I'll ask you stuff when you're there. After I collect my money, of course. Someone's... You see... If I'm on... Motherfucker. If someone sees you commit a crime against their factions, expect a reputation with that group to suffer. I cannot speak English. I was trying to combine words in mid-sentence, and it did not work out well. And yeah, there are the kids. Probably coming over to eat more of the rat. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. You're not supposed to admit that ever. Jeez Louise. Not even paying attention to the rules of life. And there's a couple things I need to deal with after dealing with this. Uh, need to talk to Mick, I think. Or is it Ralph? Yeah, it's Ralph, not Mick. About the uh, programming for the other bot. You know, the bot that, you know, Garrett, the Garrett twin not so subtly hinted at. Some people are freaks for looking into that. I think he doth protest too much. There you are. Hey, chum. Welcome back. Yeah. So, I actually found you an escort who's a ghoul and a cow-ish. Imagine that. What's his name and when's he start? Her name's Beatrix and she can start immediately. A she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? You might not even notice the difference. Fair enough. And we'll go with that. Later. And I'll talk to Ralph about the, uh, thing. Whoa, hey! Whoa, that's a, uh... That's an outfit. That is, uh, not one I expected on you, but I... <laughs> that's the thing, I guess. Okay. Didn't expect to see that, but I guess it works. <laughs> Weapon mods can increase the ammo capacity, reduce spread or weight, and add special equipment stuff like silencers and whatnot. I didn't get to read that fully. So, uh. Why do you keep running over there? What the hell? What in the world? Their crier is freaking the hell out, huh? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, we'll have to go outside and talk to uh, Ralph. And then we'll have to wait a while for him to make up the tape for that. The holodisc, whatever. And then we'll be good on that. Ugh. Sorry about that, I was yawning a bit. And... God, I love this gun. 
I mean, it doesn't look good from this angle. From this angle, it looks great. This angle does not look great. But it, it, it's good. It is an awesome gun. And I might, you know, give a light in, in the darkness to uh, cast over here once Lucky runs its course. And now we talk to Mick and Ralphs. What are, you, what are you doing here? Dixon, huh? Let me talk to you. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you well, need. Well, not me particularly. What are you selling? Have a look, baby. Let's see what you got. Dixon's Jet, which is actually kind of shite. Dixon's Whiskey, which is equally shite. Yeah, it's not great. Goodbye. There we go. Now we talk to uh, Ralph and see what's going on there. Playing debt collector for the Garrets, huh? I guess someone has to do their dirty work. Well, it, it happens. Hey, would you happen to know where I could find a sex spot? <laughs> are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? The Garrets are looking to satisfy certain customers. <laughs> well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. That place has been overrun by vermin for years. If you want to check the place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Is there a holotape or anything I'll need for this X-Pod? I don't know of any, but if you give me a few days and some caps, I think I could probably make one on my terminal. Hmm. Ralph, I've been directing a lot of business your direction. Call it a favor? All right. Come back in a couple days, and you should have it ready. For Thank you, buddy. You're the best. And we'll find out in a couple days, in-game, whether it's done or not. That is a weird little graphical glitch. With the solar power perk, you gain an additional two points of strength when in direct sunlight, and slowly regenerate lost health. I think I butchered additional there. Good day. Okay. Now let's, uh... Do let's see. Atomic Tango. That's the quest we're on right now. Talk to Mr. House. I don't want to do that right now. Midnight science fiction feature. That'd be something. That'd be something to burn time with. I think. Hey. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Okay. Didn't expect that. All right. That is kind of cool. Hmm. Now, I should probably run to the gun runners first before I do anything. Drop off whatever I have that's a little... Hmm. Excuse me. A little over my weight limit or whatever. So there's not a weight limit with that DLC like there was with the uh, other one. Welcome, sir or madam. Uh, yeah, let's see what you have for sale. I am ready to process our transaction. And I don't think I've slept in a bed for a while. That's probably something I should probably do. <laughs> Maybe very soon. Um, oh, you were completely out of caps. That's right, I drained you. <laughs> okay, well... What's my stats on that? Holy shit! Yeah, we really need sleep. Because we are heading towards that spot where we're gonna... Start getting negative stuff for that. So we'll head to Novak. And get that done. And I think there's something I need to do with Novak. A little bit. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to do that. Whoa, that sounded weird. I know that was the Brahmin, but it sounded like it. You can see Dinky for miles. Good landmark. Yeah, it is. It is a pretty good landmark. And there we go. We'll head to bed and sleepy sleep. With Cass in tow. 
Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I should probably not do that. <laughs> and we'll talk to the uh, old ranger who lives here. Hey, Cass. There we go, I was about to say. <laughs> Don't crash on me now, that's the last thing I need. And I think the ranger... He lives... Yeah, Ranger Andy. Wonder why he goes by Andy. Hey, there you are. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Hey, Andy. Nice knife on the shoulder pad there. I've never noticed that before. Did you do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half oh, my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. Mm -hmm. We get there, and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around, and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us, and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in mm -hmm. a closet. What did you do? I go to grab him out of there, and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet, and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. That's scummy. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel, just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Your body is injured, not your mind. You're kidding yourself if you think you're useless. Huh. <laughs> People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, <laughs> there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a mm -hmm. bunch of times, maybe it will for all you right. too. Let me show you how cool it's beans. done. So, I have to be unarmed for this technique, but it's the Ranger Takedown special move. Initiate a power attack while moving backwards. You drop the opponent to the feet. To the ground. To their to the ground at your feet. That's where my brain was going with that. You'll get the hang of that takedown. I had trouble learning it at first too. Yeah. So uh, you're with the NCR, right? Was. Was oh. with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. Okay. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham mm -hmm. radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. <laughs> They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Would you feel better if I checked in on your NCR friends for you? Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. All right. Uh, goodbye, then. Hey, uh, uh -huh. wait a sec. I know what I said, but... If you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Okay. Cool beans. I'll do that. And we'll find out what happened there. Go ahead and do that real quick. Whoop. Cass, stop doing that. Freaking me out. Making me think something's happening. Run by Ranger Station Charlie. I know one Ranger got killed when I was attacked over there. So, you know. What is what is that over there? Who is that? Who is The Kaisar has marked you for death. And again? And the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. Really? God damn it. Motherfucker. I got a hunting shotgun. We're gonna take him out. Well, this is going south. Whoa! The fuck? Come on, it's. Whoa! Okay then. 
that's the thing. <laughs> they were a lot better equipped than the last ones I dealt with. <laughs> Holy shit. I probably should have equipped my uh, 45 machine gun there. Yeah, that's what I swapped to for using up that ammo. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Now, I'm not ending this episode until I get that whole shit done. And... Where are they going to be coming from? I'm not going in there until I get that dealt with. The Kaisar is marked yeah, you for death, and nowhere. the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. I'm ready, and you're gonna die. Kill all of you. There we go. Oh, yeah. That was good. We'll call that good. Woo! How's Cass doing? Is she doing good? Yeah, her health's doing just fine. Okay. Well, that was a lot quicker with that gun. <laughs> I should really switch over to that in those situations more. Hoo-wee. All right. Whoops, that's not what I meant to pick up at all. I mean, it'll work, but I didn't want to. There we go. Take that. That's medium. I could repair that up a little bit, I think. Ooh, take all that. Who had the freaking plasma grenade? That's Praetorian. I could probably repair that with that. Now I think about it. Yeah, I can. Because Legion armor can all be repaired with each other. That's right. Brush gun, I'll take that. Uh, that's an incendiary grenade. That's a super sledge. And we'll repair all of that together. And super sledge. No, I completely destroyed that, so there's really no point in me carrying that. Damn. Um, I could probably repair that up with the uh, shotgun. And the brush gun would probably have more... Yeah, it would have a lot more value, so I'll repair that with that. And we'll sell that off. Cool. And now that we've pretty much dealt with all of that... I'll deal with the Ranger Station Charlie situation in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been Stray Cat playing games for you.